Weekly update for Friday, October 20th, and uh, getting back to Michael R. of Easton, Pennsylvania's letter uh, a couple of weeks back. Uh, I just remembered one of the other questions from that, from that letter that I lost, where he was asking about uh, Cerebus the postage stamp. And uh, this was our working prototype for a Cerebus the postage stamp, uh, which we were going to we were going to do a Kickstarter for, and we still intend to do a Kickstarter for. But I have changed my mind on what the image is going to be. Uh, as you can see, the original idea was uh, the image of Cerebus from uh, the cover of Cerebus Volume One, and instead of that, it's going to be the first comic art drawing I ever did of Cerebus uh, in early 1977, uh, having looked at the logo for Aardvark Vanaheim Press that I had done and gone. Uh, I wonder if I could do that as a comic. And uh, he's saying here, my name is Cerebus the Aardvark Outlander. Step forth and taste Earth Pig Steel. So I thought that would be uh, a more appropriate image number one for stamp number one. So when we get to that point, that uh, that is the image that's going to be on there. Uh, then we've also got uh, some news on uh, Cerebus in Hell. Sean Robinson and Benjamin Hobbs and I have been putting in a lot of hours. Uh, in the last few weeks and uh, we're now pleased to announce that we have finished and scheduled uh, Batvark number one, well you already got that one, uh, Aardvark Comics number one, September 2017, you already got that one, uh, Strange Cerebus uh, number one, which is uh, the third Cerebus in Hell with a question mark, uh, one shot, and that's coming out this Wednesday. That will be in stores Wednesday, October 25th. So, hit it, Sean! On the last Wednesday of every month, the new Cerebus in Hell, number one! I only let myself listen to that jingle once because it stuck in my head for about three or four days. Dave Fisher said the same thing happened to him. So uh, That's the idea though. We, we want it to stick in your head. Uh, so Strange Cerebus, October 25th, 2017. The October 2017 issue. Followed by The Death of Cerebus in Hell, which is at the printer, November 2017. The Vark Knight Returns, December 2017. Watch Vark, January 2018. The Amazing Cerebus, February 2018. World's Finite Cerebus, March 2019. Love and Aardvarks, April 2018. The Undateable Cerebus, May 2018. The Unbeddable, Unbeddable Vark, June 2018. Teenage Mutant Ninja Cerebi, and uh, just got six more uh, absolutely hilarious strips from Benjamin Hobbs that he did to su supplement my own, and uh, I'm still laughing about those. July 2018, Nick Calm, Agent of COD, uh, or Agent of COD, August 2018, League of Extraordinary Aardvarks, September 2018. Cerberus in Hell, uh, just like it sounds, Cerberus instead of Cerebus in Hell, October 2018, Canadian Vark, the American Flag Parody, November 2018, Giant Sized Jingles, that was a request from, uh, ben, from uh, Sean Robinson, so we've got a Giant Sized Jingles, December 2018, uh, Sim City, the Sin City Parody, January 2019. Uh, Super Cerebus Annual, February 2019. Uh, Cerebus Woman, that I talked to you about last week, uh, 
February 2019. Is that right? Well, March 2019. And uh, then I just got a uh, parody cover from Benjamin Hobbs. He's revised his X-Men number one parody cover and it's now the LGBTQ etc men but men is crossed out with uh, a gay pride flag with people on it and um, join them or be shunned uh, in the fantastic Cerebus in hell with a question mark style will Cerebus finally find his true calling as an LGBTQ etc advocate Cerebus will never join you Cerebus's quivery line of homophobia will keep you out of his closet well that answers that question and uh, controversial as heck yes but it hasn't been written or drawn yet <laughs> it won't be it won't be published until March 2019 so everybody has a good year and a half to get irritated about that one before it even exists and I've been recommending for you nice folks that you get to your comic book store on uh, October 25th as early as possible um, to make sure that you get a copy of Strange Cerebus number one uh, just to give you an idea of the actual numbers attached to all of these Batvark number one shipped 4,400 copies and that took a month to sell out uh, Aardvark Comics number one the action number one parody that shipped 300, 800, 3,898 copies uh, about 500 less and that one sold out in a week and there are 3,744 Strange Cerebus number one which means there's 144 less than there were of the issue that sold out in a week. Just saying. And uh, just got the, uh, the numbers in for the death of Cerebus and they're down to 3,400. So uh, if, if you want Cerebus in hell with a question mark number ones and you want all of them I think you're going to have to be going earlier and earlier to the stores. Uh, 3,400 uh, musical chairs where there was 3,744 musical chairs. Again, just saying. So, uh, if, you, if you're looking to get the next Cerebus in Hell number one, uh, Strange Cerebus is going to be in the stores uh, October 25th and that'll do it for the weekly update this week uh, I hope we'll see a bunch of you all next week for uh, what will it be October 27th Friday October 27th